Hello Youtubers, welcome to the Sega Genicast. My name is Michael and today we will be continuing my let's play of Zamarian for the PC. And we're going to start off today's video in level 4 of this game. But before we continue on, I want to show you guys something very special. And you may be asking what is that special thing Michael? Well, that special thing is going to definitely help you a lot in this game because it it definitely it's gonna give you more gems and it will aid in your survival in this game so without much further ado let's jump into what is the special thing all right here we are back at the menu screen and this special thing is gonna be very fun as you can see right here I'm only have 22,000 gems and it's not a lot so let's go click on the multiplayer oh yes that special thing is none other than the multiplayer so I'm gonna change my name to doom guy 1998 and now I'm gonna change it back by the way, that's actually the name of my old YouTube channel. But anyways, we're going to go back to naming myself Sega Janicast and let's head to a private room and the private room name is Gyrus after the game that this game was inspired on. And we're going to play versus my dad and his username is Jumpman64. Now I'll tell you the reason why he named it Jumpman64 is because his favorite console PC, I don't know what you call it. Really, um, I would consider a PC is the Commodore 64, and his favorite game on there was Jumpman. Yeah, that's actually a pretty cool game by itself, but yeah, this is the multiplayer aspect, and we're playing online right now. And what's basically happening in the multiplayer is that unlike the normal single player mode, you cannot buy weapons. You can only upgrade your ship to the max of the uh, medium fighter. As you can see here, I'm playing as OG and I'm sticking as the light fighter. But do you see that little red spinny UFO thingy thing? Well, there will be certain times where it turns green. And then that would be the perfect time for you to actually go click. See, right now it's turning green. Yeah, I got it. And I just become the heavy fighter with a really cool weapon known as the Dragon's Breath. It's very helpful. Now, the real aspect of the multiplayer is that you only have this ability for only a short amount of time. And basically while that happens, you try to get the most points, amount of points possible to beat the other player. Because you see here, at the end of these things, you can, the guy who is in first place is the only one who can actually get the score in this game. And the score will be automatically converted into gems. See, this is where it becomes interesting. This is the way you get more gems so that you can survive in your single player mode. And also, you can also collect these gems as you destroy these enemies right here. And that's pretty fun. So, okay, yeah, dad. Okay, I'm gonna beat you, you sucker. Alright, let's see. So, yeah, now, the red flag is... It basically turns at random. It's not... There's, like, no general pattern to it. So, you kind of have to kind of rush and guess at the right time when you have to go get the green thing as I just got right there. And <laughs> I definitely have a much better reaction time of grabbing that um, red flag thing than my dad obviously and we're fighting this boss together now my strategy with this thing is that whenever you get the power up immediately just stand there like stand right next to the boss and keep shooting away at his health because the boss can't really do much to you I mean he cannot really he the time you have for the weapon is not enough time for the boss to deplete your weapon's health. So just stand right there and shoot him away as I'm doing right now. And it'll be very beneficial for you and your points. So let's keep killing this guy. Yeah! Woo! Okay, let's get this health pack right here. Alright, so as you can see, let's see here. Alright, we almost annihilated this boss. He's almost on his last point. Yes! I got the, the flag and I'm about to destroy him. Yeah! That's how we do it around here. But yeah, if you haven't noticed, the bosses here are basically the same as the the one in the normal single player mode. They're just, there's no difference to them whatsoever. So let's get that. Oh man, he got it. Dang it. Alright, but I show, I'm still in the league with 7,681 points. And he's only got 5,362. I'm still gonna win easily because, well, I'm winning. That's all. <laughs> so yeah, I'm having fun right here. Oh yeah, yeah. These enemies are freaking annoying. Do you see these weird gray hoop things? Well, they're not on the screen at the moment. I would remind you of what they are, but oh yeah, you see they're on the right side of the screen right now. These gray hoop things are basically stun rays, and basically they hold your character in place for probably like a few seconds, and that allows you to get hit by these other enemies, and that's not very good when you're dealing with multiplayer. 
because that also can get you stunned so that you cannot get the red flag, which gives you that nice heavy fighter ability. Alright, so let's get that health thing right here. Alright, so... Yes! Woo, what? Oh my goodness, that was so lucky. I, I am surprised. It was red, but before the moment it hit me, it turned into a green flag. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I actually really like that. That's awesome. So yeah, uh, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, let's get all these gems right here. And as you can see, we started off early in this um, this level with only 22,000 gems. Now I have 31,000. See, that's why you definitely want to play multiplayer a lot in this game because it gives you a lot of chance in order to get a lot, and I mean a lot of points. So let's keep using the Dragon's Breath on these enemies right here. Oh yeah, by the way, this is not also the only weapon that this heavy fighter can get when you get in the multiplayer mode. Sometimes it gives you the Dragon Breath, and sometimes it'll give you the... I think it's called the Photon Blitz, and sorry I cannot show it here. Or maybe I will show it when I get it, but it's basically like a four... It's like a really wide angle shot, and it's really cool. And this boss is really freaking cool with his freaking gyrating arm of death I guess oh yeah yes this here is the photon blitz this is this is the weapon I was talking about earlier that and this is one of the two weapons that you can get when you get upgraded by the green flag in the multiplayer area obviously in the normal single player mode you are given much more different varieties of weapons and there's actually a really cool one that I want to show you later in this let's play so let's get the health right here and stay away from oh my gosh I just noticed my dad is dead Look at that! Jumpman64 stuck at 10,229 points with no health. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to finish this boss by myself and win all the points possible. This is gonna be sweet. So let's... Oh, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, so obviously you can destroy his weird gyrating arm of death. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. And, um... But he still can shoot these really powerful rays that can really screw you around if you really don't know how to avoid them. So you gotta be really careful around with that. So, alright, so let's collect all these gems right here. Yeah, that's right. We just finished it. And as you can see right here, this ranking screen or this award screen is giving me a lot of gems. Um, let's see here. 15,600 gems to be exact. Yeah, so if you're ever caught in a rut where you're running out of money in the single player mode, definitely go to the multiplayer. It's gonna be fun and worth it. Alright guys, welcome back to the single player mode where we'll be continuing my journey of surviving as far as I can in this game. Currently, we're at level 4 right now, and we actually have an unlimited amount of stages to go. So, right of, as of right now, I'm gonna be using the Light Fighter with this Hell Dust ability because that's the best combo you can actually get if you do not want to upgrade to the Heavy Fighter. Yes, the there are basically two versions of this game. One is the free version and it only contains the Light Fighter and this fighter, the Medium Fighter. If you're ever curious about what the Light Fighter kind of looks like, go back to the first part of this commentary and the very first ship I play as is the Light Fighter. Now, if you want to upgrade in order to get the Heavy Fighter, you're going to have to pay a titty sum on the mobile market for both App Store and Google Play of $2. So yes, but I think it's actually very worth it because I'm not trying to diss the light, I mean not the light, the medium fighter or anything, but the heavy fighter is definitely a lot better if you want to keep on surviving in this game. So, but as you can see here for right now, the light, I mean not the light, I keep calling this the light fighter, the medium fighter is doing some pretty nifty work with its hell dust weapon. So let's rebuy that, and yeah, now we're in the crap boss. Okay, so let's go over here and buy this thing right here. It is known as the Guardian. And what the Guardian basically does is it acts as like some kind of semi shield, which basically can wipe these weird spiky mine like objects off the side of the screen. And it's definitely gonna help you a lot in this boss so that because you don't want to run into those things where it's gonna like really screw up your health counter and your weapons counter and stuff like that. So it's definitely a worthwhile investment to buy the Guardian in order to, you know, get rid of those nasty spiky obstacles out of your way. So yeah, let's slowly march around right here. But other than that, the real strategy behind this boss is to slowly move around because it doesn't shoot as crazy 
as like the, what was it, the level 1 boss and the dragonfly boss. It shoots occasional missiles, but what it loves to do is it shoot a lot of these nasty mine-like obstacles. So yeah, so take your time with this boss, there's no need for like really fast, dodgy maneuvers like the other ones. But you definitely need to be really careful about when he's about to shoot those really bright like things. So yeah, so let's buy another one of these heavy fighters. And let's buy... Oh, I don't need to buy the hell dust. I almost forgot. If you guys didn't actually know, if you buy a brand new ship and you still had a little bit of health on your weapons counter on your previous ship, the purchase of the brand new ship will automatically replenish not only the health of the brand new ship, but it will also replenish your weapons health bar as well, which is pretty nice. So we're almost done annihilating this boss here. Alright, so he's on his last legs. Yeah, so we almost got him. And yeah, we're done beating him. Nice. So let's collect these gems right over here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.